Hey everyone, I'm back. So, let's... Oop, that's the Colus Gate. Let's quick level up. And I did buy myself a little bit more armor. So let's go quick upgrade our physique. And... Let's see, can we get forward magic power plus four? Yes, we can. Let's see... And slow time, physical spells. Let's see if I can upgrade lightning. Nope, that's expensive. <clears throat> but there was a spell I was interested in in there. That spell was Divine Fury. Okay. Now, let's see what we have for quest cards. Um, let's take Twa tra yeah, Twaiter Rescue. Trader Rescue. Let's go do that quick. <clears throat> and after we rescue the traders, we're going to head to fighting, uh, in the arena, which will be interesting. Oh, thank Avo you're here, sir. The situation is bad, sir, real bad. The bandits are demanding protection money from the traders' union and took three hostages to show they mean business. The union's refusing to pay up, even though today is the last day. They called me because... I owe them a favor, but, well, I just got out of guard college last week, and I only got a C- minus in hostage recovery. Ooh. Know what? I'll tell you where they are and leave you to it. Let me see. Uh, oh, yes, now, there's, uh, there's one's down the hill, and uh, there's two more on the other side of them big gates. All clear? Right. I'm going to make a tactical withdrawal before they see me. <laughs> All right. Uh, good luck. Okay. Let's get to this. Hmm. Fair enough reward. Wait a scorn damn minute, you! You think it's... Okay, we want to see what the auto-execute attack looks like for this. Who the hell are you? Are you defeated? You goddamn Batman. I am your worst nightmare. I'm actually going to change my spells up a bit. Quests, ma er, skills, magic. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Give me the one. This isn't good. I'd stay there if I were you. I did absolutely nothing. How exactly does the spell work? I honestly have no idea. Yes, I do. The guard's dead. Let me out of here. You, you're from the... Those bandits are a vicious bunch. Come on. I'd stay there if I were you. I love this spell now that I've figured out how it actually works. 
Come on, bandit guard trader who I'm escorting. If I sound a little out of it, I did just kind of wake up from basically sleeping a sickness away the whole day, so... Come on. You're... You're Fantastic! Out. I'm out of here! There's one down. Two more to go. And let's click flex. Because why not? I'm sorry about the lack of Minecraft updates, um, <clears throat> the build that I was working on took a little bit longer than I thought, and I'm not going to start some building on my server play with the reset as imminent as it is. Hopefully it will come next Monday and we'll see new videos as soon as, uh, as soon as the server is updated. Otherwise, I will continue working on this build that I'm working on. And that's it for my administrative notes. <clears throat> oh, actually, no, it's not. I will have some streams going on in the near future, but... I will post little videos on uh, YouTube when I'm about to start them. I'm gonna be streaming Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne... Th or Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne for, uh, for some practice runs at it. I haven't actually played through more than an hour or so. Okay. <laughs> so, back to killing bandits. My game really doesn't like me being good. Man, this is rewarding. That, that crossbowman is going to shoot me. I did not mean to hit shift there. Okay. Hello there. Crazy bandit lord. <laughs> nice one. Can you get me out of here now, please? Yeah, give me a second. I gotta go grab some loot and open this chest. Hmm. Resurrection file. Ah, my. Nice. Ah. <laughs> Excellent. It's just that some. Yeah. I'm playing a good run, so I'm not about to just chop your head off. Oh, well. Did he just try and call me Balverine Chow? Because if he did, he doesn't realize I killed the last white Balverine, apparently. Let's quick kill these guys. And I'm gonna go rope and grab the other... Uh, traitor, just because. It makes this whole thing a lot easier. And since I have heal. Ooh. Wow, you died in a really undignified manner. You're not getting out alive, mate. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you've developed enough health to withstand my hammer. Oh wait, you won't. Come on. Let's bite the dust finally. Yeah, that's jolly good. Now are you letting me out of here now or what? I suppose I should thank you. Took your precious toe. We can't stand here all day top. Yep, come on. Let's go. Oh, not spit. So there is a combat multiplier demon door, the one that requires a 14x or higher. And if you really want to do it, this is a good place to get mobs to fight and chase you to do that one. You just grab all of the bandits in the camp, aggro them to you, 
and then run to there while they're still chasing you. As far as I can tell, they will continue to chase you through the woods. And when you have enough of them to right at the demon door, you start killing them as they're following, or as they funnel in. Oops, I wanted to heal myself quick, oh well. Quick heal myself and chug a will potion. Hey there, buddy. I did not mean to start clicking or holding that. It is rather unfortunate that gather XP is the same command as switch to spellcasting mode, but I can deal with that. Now I want to cast the spell. I don't think there is a stun, stun kill with the raid hammer. Someone to watch your back. Nah, I'm good. So let's head up here. Wow, you really, you guys really don't have much of a defense against me. And I suppose I do have, you know, Master or Obsidian Great Hammer and all of this power. So let's go ahead and just waltz right out. Because now the quest is effectively over. Oh, shit. It feels good to be free again, I can tell you that. Oh, thanks. Asher, you're a splendid fella. I'll be sure to give you a discount on my wares if I ever see you again. Hmm. Lucky for me. So this quest's over. Hmm. Fair amount of experience. Let's go ahead back to the Heroes Guild. Because there is one small thing I want to do before I start the... Whatever it's called, um... The arena quest. It actually involves me picking up... I do have to pick up the arena quest. Let's go ahead... Come back through the gate. Not whole glade, let's teleport here. Because there's something I want to do here. That's the archery contest. Until after I do, I bet you're not available until after I do the uh, the whatever that quest is called. Oh, I can't. I can't remember what it is. Oh, the arena quest. Also, you know what? Now nah, it's a good enough time. Let's go grab a new title. Because, why not? I'm tired of being called Chicken Chaser. So let's head on out here. And see what these people have to sell. What can I do you for? Your shirt nice, I'd like to trade. Yeah, let's go with Liberator. Why not? You killed the legendary White Valverine. The arena is the place for you. Yep, the arena is the place for me. So let's go there. Finally, instead of, you know, screwing around and not going there. These to or eat one of these tofu. 
so that the crunchy chicken is no longer on my bar. And an apple. I think there are bandits or balverines right here when we zone out. It's either that or the pixies. And if it's the pixies, I'm going to be frustrated. I think it's the pixies. What do you sell? I'm pleased to serve you. Oh. Yeah. No you don't have anything been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. Yeah, leave the veteran alone. Yeah, you show him. What do you have to well, sell? I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. Beer keg. Now, it's one of those trade goods that you can use to uh, try and make some money. Yeah, it's called uh, Heaven's Fire on these guys. I may have killed a traitor with that. Oh well. Come on. Just go ahead and die. You're doing 18 damage to me. Alright, let's head to the arena, which is, I believe, immediately up here. It's better it's two areas up here. Game is auto-saving. Arena entrance, right here. There was a title vendor right here, wasn't there? Yes, there was. I can't believe they haven't got any tickets left. Hmm. Welcome to the arena. Tom does the entrance application. Oh, you you're come Tom. to spectate or participate, eh? Well, you'll need a nomination. You've already got one. My apologies. This way, but. All right. Let's get to fighting in the arena. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. Mm. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history. They want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound, that. You can quote me if you like. I will keep that in mind, Mr. Guard. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, Chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This will be easy. Where is he okay. called Chameleon? When it's your turn, I'll call your name, and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. 
Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins you prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though, and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize, given by Jack of Blades himself, will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there, use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. Okay. Well, there's the arena spectacle. Hello. Let's talk. I'm pleased to serve you. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Let's buy... Let's buy the... Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let's start buying the bright plate mail. So, let's sell, now, let's go ahead and just equip no these, been nominated for the arena. Uh, let's just go equip this bright stuff. Okay. See what you have to say to me. Sorry about the lack of introduction. We have a full stadium and I want action. Very I'm well. Wrath. I look after everything behind the scenes here. If you need any advice about fighting in the arena, come and talk to me. Hmm. Wow. Let's go ahead and talk to you. Oh, I can't let you in. Chameleon is still getting butchered. Oh, I hope you're going to put up a better fight than he is. Yes, yes I am. Great stuff. Cool. Hmm. I forget how I trigger this. So let's quick beat up the test on me. No, actually no, let's go see what you have or that guy has for weapons. Master. Oh, here we go. Uh, Ross, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? Idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. I need a new volunteer. New man. You look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. All right. Let's get this rolling. First, let's eat a piece of tofu because seriously, game, why are you trying to get me to eat crunchy chicken? Right. I can let you in now. You sure you're ready? Yes, I am. Ah, oh, round one. They buzz. <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Buzz. <laughs> Funny. Yep, we're fighting bees. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, I give you Liberator, famous for such quests as Orchard Farm and defeating ex-hero Twinblade. Like our other brave challengers, this something coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, presented by Jack of Blades himself. And we're on to the first round, an old arena favorite, it's the Wasp Horn. 
Yay! So, in the arena, there are several hazards, which you can see right around the sides. So these are hazards, they shoot up spikes. Oops. Hold on, let me... Make sure that all of these are butchered. Shoot up spikes. Splitting whirling blade traps. So the first round's really easy. Especially if you've geared up and, and geared up the way I have. And it's just going to be several rounds of... Or it's just going to be several waves of these guys, and you have to just massacre your way through. And it's really easy, really. Redundancy. Fighting like that earns 100 gold. Ooh. However, don't the do next that. Round will be worth 500 gold. No, 500 gold. And I am going to attempt he to do this all in one shot. The arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly Hobbs! Yay, everyone's favorite Hobbs. Three, two, one, go! And you can use the, the terrain pieces to your advantage. If you want to, say, put an enemy into them, I believe they do take terrain damage as well. And for the time being, only the spinning blade traps come up as far as I can tell. Three, two, one, Why is that a... Go! There's an awkward pause there, old man. Or however age... whatever age you are, man. Who does the arena announcing. So there is going to be a choice coming up that I'm actually going to, I believe, choose the evil choice on just because I want to see the interaction. Overall, I will still be doing a good themed run. Oh yeah. Let me quick change some expressions around. Alignment... Disco down here. Flamingo dance down here. What I want to do is do flourishes. I want to do these at the end of rounds to try and get my cheer multiplier higher. Okay. Let's see what there is in stealth. Ah. I forgot about that. Okay. So, now at the end of each round, I can actually flourish. And I believe, as far as I can tell, that that will raise uh, the crowd happiness, which is that meter up in the upper right. So some of you, ooh, I was going to say some of you might have noticed that flourishes only do a certain amount of damage, but they also, it does seem to scale a bit with, come here, Hob. Three, two, one, go! That nah, didn't work. Oh well. Channel the spell. Cast it again. Let's just keep channeling it. 
My combat meter has gotten almost to the roof. Through the roof. And apparently everyone loves watching me, uh... Just... Bam my... Divine Wrath. Yes. That's another 500 gold. Sweet, more gold. 600 gold earned so far. And there's another 1,000 up for grabs in the next round. 1,000 gold next round. Let's keep going. I'm going to be rich after this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the oh, team. Oh, yay. Two heroes side by side fighting together for their very survival. Yeah. There's been a last minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Valverines? Yay, the Valverines. Three. I've got a really good and easy climb at this because I have a silver weapon. Come on. Just die. Yep, uh, I do not have a cam death animation for that weapon. Fight some more Balverines. And Divine Wrath, just because. And that's why it's pretty useful. Just kick him. There is no head smash animation or anything. Yeah, you almost killed it. Congratulations. I did kill it. Come on. White belt. Green. You're the one I'm interested in. Let's get you back here. I didn't see that whisper, I'm more in interested in, you know, what I'm doing because I'm not a complete show-off in record. And now I'm at 10, so let's just 
lose all of that combat multiplier, I see. Yeah, people love me. They really love me. I think we're getting close to the end of the round. Yep, there's the round. <clears throat> so this episode is going to be a long one. Yep, let's go into the next round. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big hand. So what's up now? Next round is a real favorite this year. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. It's the undead. Hmm. Three, two. I don't know if they're skeletons, I have an advantage. One. Go. Hey, it is skeletons. <laughs> If this were D&D, I would have one of the few weapons, or one of, the, one of the weapons that does full damage to them. Or at least 3-0 and 3-5 skeletons. Actually, these kind of, in some cases, look like zombies, but... Man, these things are easy to kill. Stop pausing, just use your original tempo and go. And I'm having a much easier time of this than I was, ever did the first time I played through this game. Or the second time, even. I played through this, I was pretty sloppy at this point. Yeah, let's see if this does extra damage. No. It's certainly a lot of fun. Kill steal. Two, one, go. Come at me, bro. Divine wrath, yo. Easy. Come on. Just die. Flourish. Didn't mean to cast that. Eat that ham hawk. And go ahead and destroy this guy. Whoops. Didn't want to flourish there. Come on. Three, two, hmm. one, go. Okay. Go. Ask for it. It's just waking them up. really satisfying to kill them with this. And I'm sorry my commentary has been kind of off in this episode, it is... and I'm still kind of a little bit sick, but... it's also a kind of boring in terms of commentary episode, because all it really is is just fighting. And while that's the main focus of the game, actually doing other things, running around, talking to people, that does allow for more interesting commentary to come about. Come on. Ooh, I walked right into that. Yes. I hope that was worth 2,000 gold. I reckon it was. Yep. 
they've earned 3,600 gold. But will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? Yes, I will. We're in for the long haul here. Yep, continue to the next round. The competition's hiding up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. Mm, I doubt that. Start swinging now. Ooh. What the hell was that? Try to get your combat multiplier. Well, I think one of the traps is now spouting fire. Three. I don't remember. Two. One. Ah, the enemy where the crowds are throwing fireballs. Man, they just... This round is easier than the last one, really. I say that as I, you know, take stupid damage, but... Honestly, bandits are really easy to fight because you fight them for so long in the game. And I know some people might disagree with me on that, but that's my personal opinion is, you know, these are enemies you fight the entire game, they show up from the very beginning, pretty much. And you really just kind of know their, uh, their patterns. I personally would have liked to have seen them right before the, uh, the skeleton team, because those... If you're progressing the way I did, those are the first time you see skeletons. Or, you know, really any of the types of undead. I'm sure you could go and find other undead other places in the game, but... Oh, screw it. Come on. Not being a baby. Come on. Three. Yeah. Round's over. Okay. Or that wave's over. Come on, you bandits. So coming up, I do have a story about uh, my first playthrough of this game. Or my first playthrough where I got to this point, rather. I do have a, I did have a few playthroughs before that, but... Come on. Stop stupid parrying. So let's kill these guards. We're almost... I think done with this round. Yeah, I'm bored. Oh, just hit me. Eh. Come on. Ah, you're just, you're what just hit me. Yeah, they're called people, Whisper. They, they have, you know, they have an official description. They're humans. Yep, that was the end of the round. Okay. 
they banked 6,600 gold. And if that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. What is the next round? Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, hogs, valerines, and even undead. What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty first <laughs> trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. Ah, yes. Double Earth Trolls, Three, all the way two, across the sky. One, go! Let's start this off right with just absurd amounts of damage. <clears throat> and you know, I mean, taking absurd amounts of damage because it's apparently what I'm good at. Talking in our commentary and playing does kind of make it hard sometimes. It should not just take stupid damage, but this round's pretty easy. I mean, it's, it's the two trolls. That's all there is to the round. You will kind of lose some amount of applause, or at least you can. Come on, come on hold that. Right. New attack patterns. Slightly different attack patterns, even. But, it's still really easy. <coughs> Sorry about that. Come on. Whisper, you are an idiot. Not that I have much room to talk, I'm standing here tanking stupid damage, but... That's it for this round. As far as I can tell. Only 90 renown. And another 4,000! Yep. Okay. Wow, a total of 10,600 gold! Enough for a small house! Do they want another 8,000 gold? <sighs> yep. are getting very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. I have no idea what you're talking about, announcer. Between our noble heroes and their winning. Is that a pile of rubble? No, it's the Rock Trolls, Stannis and Roy. Three, More two, trolls. One. That does next to no damage, by the way, in case you can't tell that. But, another set of easy trolls. Oh. And by that I mean frustrating trolls, because I'm apparently just really bad at fighting them. Whisper, shut up. Uh, actually, that was really useful, keeping myself stuck back in here. Wait, what? Why was it crunchy tofu, or crunchy chicken? stuck in the corner. Yes, I know you don't like me anymore because I'm taking damage, crowd. Deal with it. I am stupidly very pinned in this corner. Really? 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 I hate everything about this fight now. Again? Come on. Just 
accept your death. You're about to die. I don't know why you're laughing. Yep, there you go. Now you're dead. second knowledge. And... So the problem with fighting these, the two of them, is that if you aren't close enough to one of them, they'll do the rock chucking, which was what was causing the problem when I was just the two of them. Because apparently Whisper will always focus your target. Oh, I took stupid damage. Which, useful as it is, frustrating on the trolls. Okay. Yep, I... Knew I was gonna take some damage there. To my favorite part oh, of this. Wow. Another 8,000 gold. 18,600 in the bag, and only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? Oh, we're pretty close to the end of this round, or the end of this. So, this yes, fight so. right here. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> today yeah. you have seen the best of Albion's Arena Fighters. Your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I give you a Rakanox. This Three, fight right here. Two. One. On my first go. playthrough, drained all of my all of my resurrection vials, all of my potions, all of my healing items. So I ended up with absolutely nothing, and if you haven't guessed it yet, I am going to moderately spoil the fact that you do end up fighting Whisper at the end of this. So I had quite literally a very tiny sliver of health left, no healing, no healing spell because I was just doing straight physical. So I got stuck just having to dodge roll against Whisper the entire fight while trying to talk to someone who wanted or who was working with me on something, on MSN. So it would involve me tabbing out of the game, talking to them, tabbing back into the game, and then desperately trying to hope that I pause at a good place in a combat roll. Because I had to combat roll and lightning bolt this bird. So that's my little anecdote about this boss fight. This boss fight is, or this boss fight and the next boss fight. The arena is probably the most fun in the game for the person directly playing the game. But I mean, if you're watching it, it can get kind of boring because it is just kind of repetitious fighting. But this time I am absolutely decimating him, apparently. Her. It. Do you even have eight legs? Technically you do. Actually, no, you don't. You have six legs and two pinker. Pincers. You're not an arachnid. The game lied to me. Yep, let's just do this to the scorpions. That's a really easy way to deal with scorpions. Uh, 
Yay, my applause meter's almost all the way back up. Nope. I... As I was saying, my applause meter's going back down. Ooh, ooh I'm in a bad place. Canonox is, is dead. Let's quick grab this. The arena bank is truly broken. That's another ten thousand gold. Well, I think we're almost to an hour. This is for a massive total of twenty-eight thousand six hundred gold. We have two winners. Incredible! So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, mm. as you know, we have a special guest here today. Oh. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy of it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this. We came here to put on a good show, and that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Okay. Oh, there you are, Whisper. This is the place where I thought I was going to do the evil reaction. I'm debating it still, but I'm not sure. Come on. Sit here and take your lumps. I think I'm finally out of my uh, crunchy chicken, so the game's going to stop trying to make me get unnecessary evil points. Yes, I have. I've almost leveled up all of my stats in the strength category. Wow, you take stupid to a whole new level there. I hate these things. You, you're fighting me. Stop using your canned atom or your canned voiceover at lines. On. Just this die already. Perfect. Oops. Ran right into that. Also, I should say it's a foregone conclusion that I'm going to win, because I have nine life or resurrection files. And if I lose here, then I probably don't deserve to continue this let's play. Because this is quite literally one of the easiest fights at the, up to this point. We have a winner here tonight, folks. I did a lot of damage. All he has to do is give her one final strike, and the bonus prize is his. But will he do it? Will he kill Whisper? Or will he throw his victory away? Don't do it, farm boy. We agreed. Just walk out. 
We agreed. Let's stop fighting now. I'll be back in a second. She lives. For now. Simply because it's only 10,000 gold. My dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. Mm. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey. The Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li- Fanda, I am tired of your protests. Tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. Mm. This is not over. Your blood spins just like any other, and yours will spin soon. You should have killed your sister. Just saying. That was kind of a jerk thing that to do. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. <sighs> she was a fine hero. Just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time, they married and had two children, a girl, and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the Champion's Seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. So, because I completely and totally forgot how long this actual quest was, I'm calling this episode here. Certainly. So I'll see you guys next time when we go to do more stuff around the world. See you guys then.